Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask BYS. We've got a question from Donald. Uh, Donald asks a really good question actually, and it's something that happens to many of us. He's got a question, he says, uh, when I'm at anchor and my anchor light and potentially my nav lights and radar are, are on as I'm waiting for a, um, a fish to open, like a, I guess an area to open for fishing, see that a lot around here in British Columbia, you'll see you know huge flotillas of boat just waiting for the season to open or an area to be opened up for fishing. He says, my engine is not running, makes sense, right? He's waiting. And my battery bank runs low pretty fast. So he asks, what can I do? Um, well, this is a sort of actually a problem that is happening to this boater, uh, Donald, in the moment, but it happens to a lot of us. We are running all these loads, and it could be an anchor light, it could be, um, you know, in this case, a radar, so he wants to see, he could have even a chart plotter on, he wants to be positionally aware where the boat is, where the other boats are, but he's doing that maybe for 10 hours, five hours, six hours without the engine running. So the way to solve this problem is twofold. One is figure out a way to reduce consumption. So how do you reduce consumption? And that would be one of the first thing I did on my boat is I replaced the anchor light with an LED version. You know, an LED version is about a tenth or a one eleventh less power consumption than a, a incandescent light bulb for an anchor light. So I went from literally drawing one and a half, two amps to, I don't know, it's a joke, like point two amps or 0.15 amps on my boat, it became from something to completely meaningless. So the first thing is start reducing loads. Radars is a good one. Modern radars, um, and Navico was the first one to come out with what they call broadband radar, but all other companies have them, Raymarine, Garmin, Furuno, obviously B&G being part of Navico and Simrad, all have these radars, including Lorentz, have these sort of low power draw radars. So that would be one way, is, and they're about half the power consumption. So that would be another way is reduce your radar loads by installing a modern radar. Now, it's not in everyone's budget, but if you're sort of on the fence, that would be a reason to do it. And I've sold these radars going to sailors that are sailing from here the Pacific on the west side and they're going to Hawaii or they're going to Polynesia or they're going offshore to Mexico and they're not running their engines right, because they're sailing, but they want to reduce their consumption. The way to do that is to have a radar that doesn't draw as much power. So the first step is looking across the board, where can you reduce power consumption by replacing things to LED or more efficient loads, number one. Number two is then, once you've done that, is assessing well, what is the amp draw. So you should have a battery monitor that tells you, listen, when I'm at anchor, I'm drawing three amps, five amps, 10 amps, whatever that is. And then you need to size your battery bank accordingly. You know, you've got to say, well, listen, if I'm going to be drawing 10 amps for 12 hours, right, um, that's 120 amp hours. And so if I've got 120 amp hours, you're going to need a battery bank of a certain size. And there's all, I'm not going to deal into sizing a battery bank in this video because there is hundreds of articles and videos about that topic on our own website. Some of them are an hour, two hour longs if you want to geek out. But then you end up sizing a battery bank to handle the loads that you've tried to minimize as much as possible. So it's really twofold. A, reduce your loads as much as you can. And then once you know that you have your minimum loads, size a battery bank that can run your boat for a period of time. And those would be the two ways of doing that. Lastly, I want to add, because I can see the YouTubers putting comments as I answer those every morning, people are going to say, oh, well, what about adding solar? Yes, solar would help. If, you know, some boaters are going to say, oh, I'm going to put a wind turbine. That's another way to get a charging voltage without having the engine running. Other people are going to put a methanol fuel cell. All of these are obviously options. Some people have generators. They might run their generators to run chargers to recharge the batteries. But if assuming you don't have a charging source, then the best way is reduce loads and increase your battery bank size. So that's a great question, Donald. Thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.